What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Empires 4 action spawning in the top of the map in the blue color playing as the Rus. His name is Nyan Racing Cat. Nyan Racing Cat is one of the strongest Age of Mythology players around and he's translating over into Age of Empires 4 like a madman. Plays really, really well and he's going in with the Rus today. His opponent today in the red color playing also as the Rus his name is Shawarma. I have no idea who Shawarma is. So hopefully the game's going to be good, but we are seeing both players doing a very similar opening with the hunting cabin coming up nice and fast here. Though, I tell a lie, that's a house, not a hunting cabin. So Shawarma is avoiding his hunting cabin. The hunting cabin, if you put this onto the, uh, the wood line here, you actually get yourself some gold. And it looks about 65 gold a minute. Uh, but that might also be part of me because of the scout shooting stuff. Now, we are seeing over here that Nyan Racing Cat is utilizing a mechanic known as animation cancelling. So the scout has two animations. One is the shooting animation and the second one is the wind down animation. In order to cancel that, you got to grab your scout, shoot the animal. As soon as the arrow leaves, you click on the ground and you shoot again. And that would be how we animation cancel here now. Shawarma here, he hasn't actually found any animals to kill just yet. He's just kind of running around looking for all the stuff on the map to grab. He is finding some uh, sheep at the bottom here. Uh, but really at this point, uh, the scout going to get a lot of value if he can just find and snipe everything. It does look like Shawarma actually did kill these these deer here. Now we are seeing the scout coming over here. He's going to be able to kill himself the wolf. And he is actually also doing his animation cancelling here. No problems. And if we check out... The selected player of Nine Race Cat, he's going to be searching forward, looking for stealing some of Shawarma's hunt here. Uh, but it looks like he's going to move right in. Oh, got to be careful, got to be careful. If you hit G, if you see your opponent running their scout in and you have this many villagers on the town center, you can hit G on your villagers. They'll all instantly jump into the town center and they will shoot out a butt ton of arrows and kill this scout if he comes into town center range. So you have to be super careful. Uh, with that if you hit G and then you hit uh, C after that after the scouts dead their villagers immediately return back to work So those are the uh, the default hotkeys there For very very easy scout snipers now we are seeing the Kremlin coming up here for Shawarma this one is going to give him access to the wooden fortresses, which is going to meaning has a lot of defensive uh, defensive capabilities he also gets extra 20% more wood if his wooden fortresses are nearby, I believe. Uh, and if we check out over here what Nyan's doing, he's still not advancing, but I actually wouldn't be surprised to see the Golden Gate coming up here from Nyan. That's what we've been seeing a lot of the time. No, we are seeing the Kremlin as well. So the, the Golden Gate is an interesting one because it's an economic landmark which allows you to buy uh, some resources for a favorable rate. So instead of buying, say, you want to buy 100 food you have to spend 170 gold for it with the with the other landmark the, the gate whatever it is called um you you actually can buy yourself 150 stone for example for 100 uh for 100 gold which is really really strong in the early game for sure uh and it does have little recharges there and and things like that apparently shawarma is a popular levantine arab dish there you go there you go uh, and the Kremlin is doing its thing and we'll see how this game's going to uh, continue in this one. So both of the Rus players do have access to early knights. They've got access to spearmen, archers and horsemen like everyone else. We are seeing more of this coming around. And the question is going to be, do we see these guys rushing survival, oh, not survival techniques, professional scouts or not? Because we are seeing that Nyan has got what looks to be three scouts out already. One, two, three scouts out already. So he's going to be moving those scouts back into the town center doing his thing. And Shawarma over here, he's got himself only the one scout. So that means he's not going to be going for professional scouts. He's not going to be going for any like stealing of the hunt. And Nyan probably can get access to the entirety of it. Though this does mean he's going to be behind a lot on the gold here. So we see the defensive landmark is up now. Kremlin's here. Both players are up. And the question is, where do you go from now? We are seeing a couple of villagers on gold here for Shawarma. He's got himself his hunting cabin over here. He's getting a couple more scouts out. Still no professional scouts, but obviously can't afford it just yet. Still looking for that extra gold that he needs to grab. And Nyan is going to be throwing up a stable immediately. So no surprises here. Nyan loves his raiding play and emphasis on aggression. 
you have access to the the knight early and you've got good control over your cavalry you can be able to do a lot of damage to your opponents we do see the scouts immediately moving in to try and take down the mining camp it takes a very long time for these knights for these sorry scouts not knights very long time for these scouts to do anything here they do 13 damage with their torch fire but it's still a very very slow and arduous process to take down a building that's for sure uh, but more scouts are coming out. We still not seeing this. So no, no, no one's going for this. We're just going straight in for knights. And Shawarama has not yet thrown up anything in regards to military building. Sith. So he's got a lot of resources in the back. He might be considering going for a fast castle here. I'm not sure how this is going to really work because I feel like Nyan's going to be able to push off this gold before Shawarama has got himself three thousand four hundred. Uh, sorry, for basically 600 gold. He is going for this fast castle. We are seeing the stable coming up now that he has possibly spotted some shenanigans. They were just finishing up on their herdables over here. Need to move over onto the berry bushes. Do we see professional scouts coming through? We are seeing professional scouts now coming through as Nyan is doing his thing. Uh, you do have to be very careful here. He is going to get pushed off this gold mine. If he pushes, gets pushed off this gold mine, it means he can't get scout. He can't get knights anymore. We see the knight now coming in. Going to get a little bit of chip damage over onto those scouts. So they're just going to be running around the map looking for something to do. Now we see the knights moving in. Going to try and hit these villagers and see what they can do. Uh, and moving in. The... Shawarma village is going to be immediately retreating as we see the first knight is going to be coming out here. But it's very, very far behind Nyan. Nyan's got all of the initiative right now as he's pushed off gold and he's got access to knights now and essentially Shawarma doesn't unless he's got enough gold to get to. Not really. He need 100 gold. He's only got one here. But he will be able to grab himself this hunt. So maybe going in with Spearman here just for a little bit to claim this back is going to be the way to forward. Nyan might be able to predict here that he's going to need to throw up a uh, throw up some some rangers here. He's going right into Spearman. So it's, this is good. He's going to hold on to this gold mine. But what's going to happen is that Shawarma basically needs to go Spearman here uh, in order to get the gold mine back. So the answer to that would be to simply just make some archers and make sure you hold on to this location. It's going to be in front. We do see the barracks now coming up here for Shawarma. Big advantage right now for Nyan as he's now throwing up another house over here, getting finishing up all those pigs or sheep that he's got in his base. See, that's the that's the bonus there of finding all of the sheep. You just get to hunt for a very, very long time. So that's going to be great for him. Meanwhile, the gold vein is now naked with uh, remnants of a, a past drop site here. And the knight's going to be swinging around, going to be looking to hit these, uh, these berries here. The scouts do have their hunt here, so... He can drop his drop his hunt off, and the villagers will be able to happily hunt away at this uh, at underneath his town center. So no real problems that he gets pushed off this uh, this this berries here, the berry bushes here. But should be totally fine. Just need to grab himself some siege at some point. But he is still going through with spearmen, so not really predicting the spearmen out of Shawarma just yet, which is a bit of a surprise considering. I mean, that's kind of the only answer he has. And then again, Spearman will beat Spearman one-on-one. -on -one, so if he just keeps pumping out Spearman, he should still just have the advantage here for a, for a good solid moment at the very least. But now we see the scouts moving back in, stealing more of Nyan's food here. I'm not sure Nyan's going to care too much. He's got access to the berry bushes. He can come forward. He is eating this. He has a Spearman waiting on this location. But the scouts can dip in and steal all of this uh this food here if you need to we just see the knights coming over here going to be checking out they're seeing that all of his precious hunt has been getting stolen but potentially nyan can intercept these scouts here he's going to be trying to he's moving the spearmen the knights right in the way of shawarma shawarma does have the obviously the scouts have the line of sight to kind of run around this and make sure he tries to dodge this he can definitely attempt to do that that's what he's going to be doing the night the scouts run very very fast at uh 1.62 tiles per second versus the the knights which are 1.62 as well so it's very very equal and even we just see these spearmen cheekily moving out I'm not sure exactly what their plan was there but they will be seeing these animal carcasses coming back in meanwhile the units are going to be trying to come back over onto this gold vein here shawarma with a lot of resources in the bank not sure what he's going to be doing with them he needs to throw up some archery rangers will probably be the only real option here spears or, or even stables yeah he's got the stables already but start making some horsemen instead of the knights he can go spear horsemen here and actually probably be okay maybe horsemen archers it's probably going to be a better a better play um, archery building coming up now for Nyan. 
We see the, the knights swinging around, doing their thing. And we'll see how this game's going to go. Now these these scouts need to get back to work. There is all of this hunt here that he can grab very, very easily. And these villagers are going to be feeling a little bit lonely very soon. We'll see more houses coming up. The, the knights for Nyan swinging around, but there is nothing for him to hit here. All of the wood has been taken off for Shawarma. I think he is still trying to get to the castle age. Look at that food flying up into the stratosphere. What's Nyan doing? His resources are kept low. It looks like he's drawn up an archery range, going in with those archers here. So he might be looking to go in for a ramp push. He goes, he doesn't have an armory up just yet, doesn't look like. Yeah, no armory just up. We do see a raid coming in, but it gets pushed back, obviously. There's no villages here. These scouts are picking up more and more of these uh, animal carcasses for him to eat. I'm surprised he didn't just grab these, just to make sure he doesn't have any idle time here. But Shawama must be very close to the next stage. He is getting a lot of this gold income coming through very, very quickly. He's got himself hardened spearmen. He's got to feel fairly safe about this at this point. Still no armory up, so you're getting a second town center, it looks like, for Nyan. So Nyan going two town centers, Shawama going straight to the uh, uh, castle age. We'll see how this one's going to come out. A lot of the time when I see fast castles or semi-fast castles coming up, the two town center player can go for a really big push in order to just just outmass the unit class upgrades that you're going to get. Even with those upgrades, it's, it doesn't seem like enough because uh, you're still having to fight back an extra 1,200, 600, 1,800 resources of units. Especially with then the town center giving you some more. But there's the Abbey of Trinity. This one's going to be acting as a monastery, giving himself access to the warrior monks. And he's going to be able to grab all of these relics. Now, the big, big thing about Fast Castle is definitely the relic. So if your opponent goes to town centers, you do have the option of rushing those relics because those relics, if you get them into, the, into your monastery, they're going to give, be giving you 100 gold a second. Absolutely huge. And even if you're, then, then again, even if you are the, the Holy Roman Empire, you can grab those relics and get 300 gold per second, which is a lot more uh, and very much worth it for the, um, for the lesser town center shenanigans. Anyways, we'll see how this is going to go. More archery rangers coming up now for Shawarma as he's recognizing what's coming his way. He's probably going to be thinking about going straight in for crossbowmen, but I don't think he's got the resources for it. Now, there's the castle age. There's the Abbey of the Trinity. The warrior monk can be built immediately here, and then he's not going to have to worry about the gold because he's just going to be able to be completely fine here. Uh, we still haven't seen it built, so Shawarma just taking his time here. Nyan, what's his reaction to this immediate armory? He does, oh, sorry, blacksmith. I'm very, very sorry. This is a blacksmith, not an armory. So the blacksmith coming up here now for Nyan Racing Cat. He's going to be doing his best here to get this going and seeing what he can do. We've got these uh, units now taking down the mining camp here again. Shawarma going to be in a little bit of a predicament uh, as he's going to be facing rams very, very shortly as Nyan's got a lot of resources in the bank. This blacksmith is just about to pop up. He's going to get siege engineering immediately. Uh, at least that would make sense to me if that's what he was going for. And this is all going to be about the defense here. And we still haven't got Shawarma grabbing his uh, his warrior monk. Then there is coming. He's got to be careful with this one. This one's going to be a tough one for him. Because he's going to want to come up and sneak uh, a relic over here. Potentially, Nyan can just leave a unit on each of those relics and deny them all as an idea, which is kind of what he's doing. He's chilling up here with his army. He's got a unit over here. There's relics up the top and down the bottom. It's always going to be five relics on the map. We do see the archers now pushing in, pushing those villagers off the gold mine yet again. Shawarma is still in a very, very difficult situation here. The, the warrior cat monk here is going to be looking like he's sneaking over here. He's going to grab this relic. So there's a couple of options here. You can go for the holy, uh, holy Mary play of going for a huge convert and if you get the convert you obviously just win but if your opponent's got any amount of archers he's just going to snipe this down it takes a very long time for well it doesn't take a long time but it does take a time for the convert mechanic to pop off uh, and if you have those archers there you should be able to just snipe the warrior monk he's only got 190 hp so you should be able to pick that one off fairly quickly here you now going to be seeing nyan retreating back for the time being, so many spearmen here for Shawarma. This is a big mistake because there's really not that many knights here. This is all archers, and we basically need to see either knights, crossbowmen, or archers coming out. He is going to be making himself some horse archers here. These are the highly mobile range cavalry effective against slower melee units. Uh, but these are not slower melee units. I mean, maybe the spearmen are slower, but 
I don't know about the uh, ranged cavalry here this, in this situation, but the warrior monk does grab himself this relic. We see over here that Nyan's grabbed his second town set, are pumping out those villagers, just going very, very ham on this. I, I do think that Nyan's got to be a little bit careful here. He has to make a decision as to whether or not he wants to go to the second age or go for an all-in. And he has not gone for Siege Engineering, so he's just getting his armory upgrades here. So not going for an all-in. Looks like Shawarma's actually going to be in a half-decent position here now that he's starting to grab these relics on the map. We are seeing these knights now pushing in. We're gonna, they are going to get a couple of villager kills here. Those, those, uh, those lance charges do so much damage. Gets two snipes there. But the one town center Shawarma right now, that's going to hurt quite a bit. As Nyan is going to be racing away here as Shuama says, Oh, my villagers. My villagers, no. But the monk is going to be coming up onto this location. One archer will not actually stop this monk from doing anything. He's just going to grab this relic and say, Thank you for playing. I'm going to leave here. Six damage a shot. Not much when I can move at 1.62 tiles a second. In fact, the monk is able to take the archer down. And he could have just converted it. He could have hit conversion and he could have stolen the archer as well. All of those things are, are possibilities here. But not going for that. I'm going to come dump that one into his... Uh, into his in his monastery, into his landmarks. So you know, archery range coming up here. Shawarma is still pumping forward. And Nyan is able to go to the third age now. So not actually engaging or doing anything. Just playing slowly, getting that economy rolling, getting to the second age. Well, he is behind slightly on tech here. We are seeing the high trade house coming through. This one's going to generate gold like a hunting ca cabin with the value increased by 200%. It also spawns deers every 60 seconds. And villagers can drop off their food here. So this is a very, very interesting landmark. We're going to be seeing uh, Nyan going to attempt to not farm at all in this game by utilizing the deers that do spawn on this one. Funnily enough, this was a mechanic that I wanted to add into Age of Mythology for, for Gaia, but everyone laughed at me. But now who's laughing? Now who's laughing? It's in Age of Empires 4. They listened to me. They stole my idea. I want the credit. Where's my credit? They should call this High Boyt House. Because this is my house. No? Maybe not. <laughs> we do see these horse archers are out so what are the stats on these things they do 12 bow damage uh and that's versing the uh, archers here which only do five or six bow damage here with those upgrades so big big advantage now for shawarma actually i feel like he's got a timing that he's going to be able to move in and hit here we'll see how this is going more upgrades coming through for nyan is this uh this castle age is taking a very long time to come through but I think potentially Nine's at 117, 118 pop. Shawarma is at 110, 112, 114 pop. I feel like this is going to be a very, very tough fight for Nyan Racing Cat to actually win because these horse archers are going to be absolutely brutal here in this game uh, against this army. But there, there are a couple of knights out as well. This is interesting. We're seeing the scout just checking out what's going on. Nyan is just going to be biding his time. He wants to make sure he gets those upgrades out so he's not fighting down upgrades because we've got these veteran spearmen, the horse archers. We don't have the upgraded knights, but it is what it is. And there's the high trade house coming through. For Naya, as he's hitting the next age, he's going to have a lot of resources in the back here. Yeah, this is this is going to be a problem that a lot of players are going to be finding themselves in. And the answer is simply just to spam military buildings. Because right now, you can see this many military buildings here for Nyan. It's really not that many. He's only got five... Uh, six, seven military buildings. It's just not much. See the sacred site going to be grabbed here as well, grabbing the relic as well. Uh, as Sharama is ready to push in, ready to put a lot of pressure onto Nyan Racing Cap. But I think Nyan is just going to be waiting for his. We can't afford it. He's getting himself uh, veteran archers over somewhere. I don't know where. Hopefully he doesn't lose it in one of these archery ranges. It's looking like it's coming through on this location. So Nyan definitely needs to hold on to this spot. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to fight for quite some time. We are seeing the archers now moving forward here. For Nyan going to be trying to snipe some units. We see the Horch archers moving in. They do a lot of damage here. Nice sniping here from Nyan. Going to be getting a lot of damage done. We see the veteran spearmen coming in. That's going to be go time now for Nyan Racing Cat. As Shawarma coming in with his spearmen. Going to attempt to get onto those knights here. Those knights do not have many upgrades at all. As Shawarma is looking like he's actually doing fairly decent in this fight. Though lots of those spearmen are not fighting. The horse archers targeting down the knights instead of the enemy units. Population here for Nyan.
Ryan is 113 to Shawarma's 95. So it's looking like a slight advantage population-wise here for Nyan Racing Cat. And we'll see if Nyan can hold this. It is looking like he is able to hold this as uh, Shawarma is going to have to get out of here because now we see veteran archers coming through these. Horse archers not going to be enough. He's going to be trying to shoot Scoot out of here. But the Knights too much for Shawarma's push here. Part of me feel like Shawarma just should have seen that army there and said, look, maybe I can't win this fight and not go for it because, because he definitely had map control. He could have grabbed three town centers here, thrown up a market, bought food, and, and just gone boom into the stratosphere. He's got all the relics. He can grab the sacred sites as well, which is going to give him a little gold trickle as well. So he could have had a very, very, very nice game here as... Nyan, I don't think that he's really in front on economy here just because of the relic shenanigans that's coming, uh, that's actually getting involved in this game. So, I mean, we'll see uh, how this is all going to go. Did we see an extra monastery? We did see this monastery. So maybe even grabbing this relic as well is going to be a, a source, an extra source of gold for Shawarma as Nyan's just going to be neglecting that one. But we do see a sneaky gold mine grab up on that's this location. But there is a knight over here. So potentially uh, Nyan might get lucky and spot that's this gold mine at some point. But I think more likely here is that Nyan's army, he's got so many units here. Shawarma, 84 pop. Nyan, 124 pop. If Nyan can just spend all of these resources, he's going to be able to just push in and kill Shawarma very, very easily here. See more archery rangers coming up for Shawarma. He's doing his thing. See the warrior monks are out. The question is, can we get a, again, can we get a conversion or not? I mean, I'm sure Nyan's going to be too good for the conversion. Conversions are a little bit of a meme in this game, but you see those armory upgrades coming through. Keep an eye on the attack speed as well. These horse archers do attack speed two seconds versus 1.5 seconds. So the horse archers do a lot more damage than these, uh, than these, than these longbowmen or those veteran archers i guess they're not long bowmen now starting to see some raids coming in oh the knight does he see it he does see it this is going to be brutal there's no town center on this gold mine here and he's going to just start losing all these villages one knight is such a brutal attack force we are seeing those horse archers able to push those knights back but the villagers have to retreat and they're going to be losing a lot. We are seeing the knights coming over onto this location. So much gold in the bank here for Shawarma. He's got a market up so he can buy things if he wants and he should be buying things with that much gold here. But he's not doing it just yet as Nyan is just taking this very, very slowly here. Not wanting to throw the game. No idea how far in front or behind he is because there's no score. We can see it, but he can't. Uh, and this doesn't really mean he's that far in front either. I think the score is a little bit questionable as to how accurate it is at this point. Anyways, the calm before the storm. Well, we start seeing some siege coming in here. I think that the siege pushes are very, very strong when you have this many archers. You get out some spring olds as well. It can be very, very strong. Archers, spring olds, and they can, they can pick off a lot of units. I don't see uh, anything coming up. We just see a third town center now coming for Nyan. And Nyan is actually grabbing himself this sacred site here in the middle of the map. He's got... Is he? Wait. What? Maybe he's not. He's got his warrior monk out, but he's not getting it. Does he know about this, uh, this relic over here? He does know about the relic over here, but he's not, he's not going to go clean that one up. Meanwhile, we see the, the, all the units now going to be checking out on this gold mine. <laughs> but all the villagers coming back to the home gold vein here. As we're seeming like we're going for a pure horse archer army here for Shawarma. Nyan, 153 pop. Shawarma, 96. But this is the thing. If this gold here was spent, I feel like this game would be equal population. Nyan has decent resources in the bank. He could probably be actually full population here. But now we've got the units moving in, picking off all these villages. Oh, and that's going to be lights out here for Shawarma. No more gold income. I mean, he doesn't really need the gold income, but he's already behind on villages as he's not moving them away very easily here at all. We're starting to see the horse archers with the knights coming in, going to be pushing Nyan back. The villagers returning over onto their gold mine preemptively. But there's just so many knights here. Actually, there's so many knights for both players. They're both 
do have those early knights. We're going to see some men at arms in here for Nyan. He's going to be utilizing those as a tanking situation for the horse archers. But the veteran archers in the back just doing so much damage here. The horse archers for Shawarma getting absolutely carved up. No micro here to shoot and scoot as he should be. And the population for Shawarma is absolutely plummeting here down to 50 Five population. A really, really nice attack here from Nyan as Shalama has got nothing left in this game. We might be seeing some of those battering rams to come out and just push through, but at this point, 54 population to 162 population. That is three times the population for Nyan. There he is. Next to no way that Shawarma can come back unless he goes for some sort of sneaky shenanigans where he throws up a ton of barracks over here, makes a bunch of those uh, veteran spearman comes in and tries to take down the base of uh, Nyan, but he doesn't go for it. He decides to tap out. GG, well played by Nyan Racing Cat, taking this win in this Rus mirror, demonstrating some of the, the strengths of Rus in this game. Really, really nice play. Nice try from Shawarma. I actually liked his strategy quite a bit here, and I'm starting to lean a lot more towards the idea of fast castling in order to grab relics as a counter to town center grabbing, a counter to the classical age, or not the classical age, the feudal age shenanigans that are going on. It actually might not be as bad as I first thought, especially if you can get those relics, because that boost to the economy of the relics get are just so huge. And if you check out the economy here, I know it's going to be heavily in favor of Shawarma, but I kind of want to see the um, the economy in terms of gold. And yeah, you see the gold is equal here. So it's just, uh, it's actually favoring Shawarma. Uh, and it's just the food and wood that he's behind. And that's just because he didn't throw down a second town center when he could uh, and didn't spend his resources either. He definitely was not as far behind as you might've thought. You see 69 villages, Lamal, to 116 villages. So that was the big difference maker here in this game. Nyan played it really nicely. Uh, and... GG, well played. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.